Yo, 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 what's up, people? It is your boy, MM2K. Um, I'm just doing a quick rant, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Because um, state of play, we're, we're, in a, we're in a peculiar space right now, right? Where we have state of play um, about to um, show, I think, either directly before or directly after Inside Xbox. Now, for those of you that don't know, State of Play was not scheduled before Inside Xbox. I, I'm, I'm on social media and I'm seeing a lot of people say, oh, what is Microsoft thinking? What the hell's wrong with them? Why would they do this at the same time that State of Play is going to occur and they're going to be making a major announcement, it seems, of uh, The Last of Us 2 and some more about Death Stranding, but that's that the latter part is here nor there, right? Um, no, Inside Xbox was scheduled in advance. All right, I think we got news about Inside Xbox maybe a few weeks ago, and subsequent, maybe a week later, um, Sony decided to again put their foot on Microsoft's neck and not only hold a state of play the same day, but to hold a state of play. Uh, announcing The Last of Us 2, which is Sony's next real big anticipated title. Um, rumors have it that it's going to launch at the beginning of two, 2020, anywhere between, we heard like February, March, and then there was, supposed, uh, there was a supposed leak that showed a February 28th date of 2020. All right, so... Here's my thoughts on the whole thing real quick. I don't, like I said, I didn't want this to be too long. Um, this continues to show for all of my Xbox brethren out there that wanted to cap for Phil's um, direction prior to Gears 5, that wanted to say all that Kumbaya stuff is okay and that it's all just about gaming and, you know, let's light the candles and hold hands across the globe. All of y'all that cap for that, you guys help create this dynamic. See, I'm holding everybody account for your words. Again, I'm not saying, and again, I, I got to say this at nauseam because people will try to misconstrue what I'm saying and make it seem like that I'm saying that we got to be more sensitive or none of that, any of that stuff. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is your words have weight. Your words have responsibility behind that weight, meaning that if there's masses and masses of you saying something, whether it's true or not, that's going to uh, curate the movement of said company that, that's paying attention to whether there's lashback or whether there's a praise, right? So when Microsoft does these initiatives or does goes in a certain direction and you guys cap for it, regardless if an MM2K or next gen is out there rebutting what they're doing, they feel that there's enough people in support of it and they're heading in the right direction. Now, what direction am I talking about that's causing this real uncomfortable dynamic for Xbox right now? It's this Sony can be our friends. Even, and we're going to make that truer by giving our Azure service to them as far as, you know, giving them access to Azure servers. If we can continue to show Sony that we love them, <laughs> you know, we care about their growth and all this silly stuff, you know, and, I, and it is silly because you're a competing business. You ain't got to be at each other's throats 24-7, but you are a competing business and lines have to be drawn somewhere, right? Um... When you have that motif and then you got a crowd of people backing you up and giving you a false sense of security behind that motif, then you come into situations like this where even though they've signed a, 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 mem a, a, a memorandum with you, even though they're supposed to be going into this heavy exclusive business with you, they're still stepping on your neck and they're stepping on it even tighter than they have before, it seems like. It seems like to me that what Sony said is they feel like that this was like more strategic as far as them 
dusting the floor with you guys, you know what I'm saying, mopping the floor with you guys more than it was of streaming service. It was more strategic for them. They said you guys were wide open and they're going in for the for the uh uh the uppercut, right? I think that's what I feel that Sony is doing because Sony has said every single Xbox initiative, we got a rapid response for it. And their rapid response is now doing a Last of Us 2 state of play on when you're finally returning with inside Xbox. They don't want you to have any momentum. They're trying to kill your momentum. And I think that Xbox is aware of it now. I think they got a little bit of blood in their eye. You know, you saw that knee-jerk reaction where they sent that letter to uh, gamingindustry.biz, uh, I believe it was, and the letter stated that they're no longer, they're, they're not looking to put any of their games on other platforms. In other words, it, it seems like it, it took a layer from the onion and, and looked you and had you peer more into what was going on, and where it seemed like that Microsoft might be um, in tune with maybe trying to push a halo on a PlayStation or something like that. And that was that letter seemed like their way of saying all bets are off. You know what I'm saying? But it's too late now. 20 and 2019 should be yours. You had days gone that fell short of critical acclaim, even though it sold, you know, fairly well. But there's a hundred million PlayStations out there. We gotta stop this talk too. I know this is a rant. I'm, I'm really living up to that expectation. But we gotta stop too with this whole it's only on one platform. One platform alone has more consoles and more saturation than two platforms. There are more PlayStation 4s than there are Xbox Ones and uh Nintendo Switches combined. So that whole one platform thing, as far as saturation and stuff, that, that that's a non that that's a non argument. Okay, it's a farce. All right. With that being said, yeah, there's a hundred million PlayStations out there. It's a slow year. NPD told you that. They're like, wow, man, we ain't seen numbers this low in a long time. There's portions of the year that have been lower. They haven't been this low since 1998. So I don't even want to talk about Days Gone. Days Gone is a non-factor as far as I'm concerned in 2019, all right? So, you got that going on, where Days Gone didn't get as critical acclaim that people were expecting it to get, like, in the mid to high 80s, you know what I'm saying? Um, then you got Death Stranding that looks a little puzzling, right? <laughs> Besides the story, just the gameplay loop and everything just looks puzzling. So, that's not being shown in good light. And, and this is the year that you dropped Gears 5, and Ori 2, I believe, might be coming this year, too. Like, 2019 should be yours. Lock and step, Microsoft. And you blew away a large chunk of this year trying to play Kumbaya with Sony. So, again, inherently, I don't expect much from Inside Xbox. If you want a prediction from your boy, I think that Inside Xbox is going to be trash. Right, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad that they brought back I believe his name is Ricari and 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 and, and Gurley with to have her hair shaved, you know. They brought her back for a special inside Xbox. I don't know what they're going over. I don't know if Sony had an inside track so they felt like this was the time to drop the big news or they just wanna, you know, not let Microsoft wiggle at all, you know, have any have any excitement whatsoever, even if the show is gonna be trash. They just wanna keep that foot on the neck, keep that imprint there as a reminder, you know. Um, I, I don't know, but I don't expect much from inside Xbox. I believe that uh, the showing of Last of Us, they're going to show some new footage. Um, I, it got it got to be good. It got to be good. I'm I'm I don't think that Sony would show some trash. But again, I don't know. I'm 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 not a magician. I don't have I don't I can't peer into the future. Sorry, that's my phone. Um, but I'm hoping that it's not trash. Because if it's not trash, then again, you have another wasted opportunity by Microsoft. They had this whole year should be theirs be, as far as them battling PlayStation. This year should be theirs. And uh, they're, they're squandering it big, man. And, and I don't think it's due to recent events by Microsoft. They wasted so much time earlier this year, all the way up into E3 with this Kumbaya. Gaming is 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 more than headshots and kills crap. Um, Sony 
with no fanfare <laughs> to double down on its hardcore content and they're, they're, they're giving Microsoft a run for its money in a year where it shouldn't even be close. So that's my rant. I just want people to keep in perspective the things that you say. I've been, I've been coming at everybody. I've been making everybody accountable for what they say and y'all should make me accountable for the things that I say. That's why even though I may trip over my words and I may stumble here and there and I may do a rant, my words are carefully, or, or the subject matters and the lane that I'm going through are carefully chosen. I pre-think this stuff out, right? It may not come out that way, but I pre-think this stuff out. I don't just jump on any bandwagon without doing any due diligence. If, if I'm ready to go live and I don't, I'm not fully adept on a particular subject, I'm doing research. You know what I'm saying? Like the people on the other end of this mic, they're expecting that I'm doing my due diligence, right? They're trusting me and they're trusting what I'm saying that I've spent a little bit of time to research what the hell I'm babbling about. And when you guys want to act like you don't want to play the console war, but you want to take digs at PlayStation any way you can and feed into this hyperbole, you send a false sense of security to Microsoft when they're doing stupid stuff and it leads to 2019. 2019 shouldn't look like this, man. I mean, you again, you got days gone that does not have the critical acclaim. The only thing that my pony brethren can say, at least it's selling well, but it's selling well in a year where Anthem is still the number five game this year and that game is completely dead, right? And this is com coming from someone that likes the game. I've liked some of the revamped stuff that they did, but the game is dead and it's still number five. This is a slow year. So you have days gone, regardless of how it tracked, if it's still in the top 10 this year or top 20, it don't matter. This is a dead year. Then you got Death Stranding. Who would have imagined that Kojima of all people is now being questioned and he got his back up against the wall the way that he does now. So up until this point, it should be a slobber knocker in favor of Xbox. But it wasn't because they wasted so much time with this silly stuff and y'all backed it up. Y'all are responsible for this stuff, man. Words and, and motifs and, and, and avenues and channels that you try to flow and pump out to the masses, that stuff matters. You are to blame for this. You are to blame. Because if there were more people doing what we were doing and holding their feet to the fire, this wouldn't even be a problem. This was this this would be an easy year for Xbox, but it's not. And here you got a situation where, damn, Xbox can't even recoup and get together and say, oh, I miss you, Ricari. I'm sorry we had to fire your black ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We can't, they, they, they can't even do that. Without Sony... Busted through the, the roof like some paratroopers and, and lighting up the place. I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, you know, again, to close off, I think Xbox has learned some valuable lessons. I see them starting to enact it. That's cool. They're starting to advertise. I was listening to Gamer Tech Radio. Homie D Danny Pena said there's Gears 5 advertisements everywhere. I think Gears 5 standalone numbers are going to be good. Are they going to be stellar? I don't know about that, but I think they're going to at least be good. I don't think it's going to be like the dud that everybody's going to say they're trying to make it out to be, even with Game Pass. Yeah, there was some funny numbers on Steam, but that's different. I, that just proves that that whole play anywhere on Steam don't work for every single title. That's Steam. But I think uh, standalone, you're going to see some good um, uh, Gears numbers. Um, so... You know, it, this this should be a this should be a slobber knocker year for Xbox, but it's not. And Xbox is to blame primarily, but again, a lot of it falls on you guys' shoulder. You guys are the mouthpieces out here in the community. You guys have the access. Xbox is listening to all of us. They're listening to all of us. All these Fortune five com uh, 500 companies are heavily invested in monitoring social media. So don't sit there and tell somebody, oh, you're only this and you're only that and Phil's never showed up on your show. No, they're still watching you. They're watching the person with one <laughs> viewer to the person with a hundred thousand viewers anybody that mentions them they're trying to get a pulse they're trying to get the, the the feel for the temperature out there so they're going to listen to as much information and do as much data pulling as possible so your words matter 
Okay. So just as a reminder, in case Xbox starts to slide back and y'all want to cap for it again, under because I'm seeing some of that right now with some of these stupid comparisons to um, you know people making false equivalents to um, criticism of Gears Three sales opposed to Borderlands Three or Gears Five sales opposed to Borderlands Three. That's idiotic, and I, I, we're smarter than that. We just gotta act like that. So with that said, that's my rant, man. Um, I hope everybody enjoys the show. And with that said, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.